So it's the last day of August and for over 25 years, on the last day of August, I decorate my house for Halloween in the fall. Um, and so that's my tradition and I'm gonna keep it up, but I'd like to document it on this channel. All right, so I'm in the lower level of my home because this is where I have what I call the holiday closet. I have a closet under the stairs that I store all of my holiday decor. So I'm gonna show you that. There's no light in there, so it's gonna be kind of dark. I'll also give you a little tour of the bottom hallway of my basement. So downstairs in my house is where Julius has his area and I have a guest room. The laundry room is also down here and the utility room. So let me give you a little tour around the basement and then we're gonna talk about the fall decoration. dark because there's no light in there. It's filled to the brim with my Christmas trees and ceramic Santas and Easter bunnies. I have one whole shelf that's dedicated to fall and Halloween. I have two shelves dedicated to Christmas on this big shelf and the bottom part is dedicated to Valentine's Day, summer, spring, Easter, so that's where most of my holiday decoration is stored in this closet. Although I do have to keep some things in other areas of the house, like pillows. Um, but most of the stuff is, most of my decoration is now in this closet. So I'm gonna be pulling out my Halloween decorations and my fall decorations. And then we're gonna start decorating upstairs. Um, I do a little bit of decoration in this hallway down here. Not a lot. I already have a, a pumpkin that I leave out year round down here and that owl. So there already is a little bit of fall. I'll, I'll put a few things down here. I'll show you later, but most of my decoration is on the main floor of the house. I don't really decorate the other areas of the house too much. 
Um, I don't really decorate the upstairs too much or down here. So the only thing I decorate down here is, um, you know, I might put things on the shelf, on this table, or on that desk. That desk was in my uncle's bedroom. I inherited it after he passed away. So sometimes I put some decoration on the top of that. But other than that, I don't really decorate down in the basement too much. So we're mainly going to be decorating the main floor of the house. All right. I am dressed for the occasion. I have pulled all my Halloween stuff from downstairs to the kitchen. So I have on a vintage Halloween sweatshirt I got in the early 2000s. I think I got it at Walmart. And I have on my Betsy Johnson Halloween earrings. They're little black cats that I got, I think, from Marshalls. So I'm all ready. And the good news is that yesterday we had thunderstorms and a cold front. So I'll show you outside real quick. So it is a cool, beautiful day in the Catskills. It's about 77 degrees outside and very breezy. So it seems like fall has arrived in the Catskills. So it's a perfect day to take out all the fall and Halloween decorations. So let me show you what I have. So I have several boxes of Halloween decor. This is stuff I couldn't fit in a box. <laughs> I have a big tub of Halloween decor. This is a Rubbermaid tub. So I'm gonna be pulling all this stuff out. I have that tub. And then I have a ceramic Halloween tree that I bought on Amazon last year. So that's what I'm gonna be going through. Some of this stuff is for Thanksgiving. I'm going to put the Thanksgiving stuff away, mostly, until November 1st. A lot of my Halloween decor is not new. It's stuff that I got as gifts or that I bought myself when I was younger. And it's also some old things that I might have inherited. So it's not like I went out and bought all this stuff this year. A lot of this stuff is 20, 25 years old. I'll go through some of it and tell you the little history of it. But because my family knows that I love Halloween, they often gift me Halloween decorations. So I do have a lot of things. And this is not everything. This is a lot of it. Uh, but I have a lot of things that were gifted to me from friends and family because I love Halloween. So I'm going to start opening up all these boxes and pulling things out. And then we're going to decorate. <laughs>
that was everything mainly that I pulled from this orange Halloween bucket. So I'm going to start putting this stuff out and then I'll come back and open my other couple buckets of fall decor. But again, that box mainly was just Halloween stuff. So that's why most of that stuff was specifically for Halloween. So let's start putting stuff up and I'll show you around the house. Okay, I pulled a few more things out from other nooks and crannies in my house. I bought these ball candles to go on the fireplace candle holder. These are old glitter pumpkins that I usually put in the dining room windows. There's three of them. Okay, I told you I like to do crafts. This is a craft I did about 10 years ago. No, actually I did it 2013. All right, so it's a cross stitch on a canvas. So I bought a little square canvas from probably Michael's. I painted it and then I taped a cross stitch pattern of a cat on the back and I stitched the cross stitch to the front and this is the finished look. And I usually put this on in my living room somewhere. So I made one orange one of a cat and I made a bright green one of a spider and it says eek. And this was also in 2013. So this was my, my fun project back in 2013 was cross stitching on canvas. My sister bought me this picture, kind of changes. When you tilt it, she said that was us. So that's me and my sister. <laughs> I have a, just a generic jack-o'-lantern, ceramic jack-o'-lantern. My mother in the 1990s and 2000s was really into ceramics. She used to go to ceramics class. So she made the three of us, my brother, sister, and I, these ceramic pumpkins that I usually put a light inside it. And I like it because it has heart eyes. She also made me this adorable candy bowl. So all three of us have this candy bowl that lights up. And I always keep my candy corn in here or kisses. So I'll show you where we put that. About seven, eight years ago, I got a kit to make these little spiders and I put them on my crystal in my dining room. I'll show you that. This is all of my old Halloween and Thanksgiving kitchen towels. So those, those are not new. I have this scarecrow I usually put up every fall. I leave him up until Christmas. And this was given to Julius, my son, from his fourth grade teacher. She was getting rid of some of her classroom decor and he brought this home. So I put that scarecrow out every year. When my son was a baby in California, I bought this fall welcome sign with a mommy, a daddy, and a baby boy. So that's some more Halloween stuff that I pulled just now. I have also taken down some of my summer decor. So let me show you what I've taken down so far. So I have these pictures that I had in the kitchen. I'm gonna replace these with more fall looking pictures. So I'll store these till next spring. I have these buckets of flowers. I took down my berry garland, my summer garland, my You Are My Sunshine plaque I had in my living room fireplace. My 4th of July Mary's Moo Moo. I'm gonna change the hat on this salt and pepper shaker. He has a Halloween hat. And he's gonna be putting that on. And this is just a little pretend teapot decor that I got from my parents when they downsized and I'm gonna put that away for the spring also. So I've started pulling some of my spring stuff. Oh, this is a plant stake that I'm gonna put away because I have fall steaks to put out. All right, so let's start putting up some of this decoration, deciding where we want to put it all.
All right, I've been working for literally two hours while the dogs are taking their nap. I've put most of my stuff up. I'm gonna work on my Mary's Moo Moo's next. I think I've mentioned in an earlier video that I collect Mary's Moo Moo's. I really started collecting them in the 90s. I thought they were really cute. And they're just these little figurines by Inesco of cows dressed up for different seasons and different outfits. And I like country style, so I always thought they were adorable. So I'm gonna take down my summer ones and put up all my Halloween ones. like how this table runner looks with the crew the Halloween tree I might go get a black one I do have a fall table runner but it doesn't really look good with the Halloween theme it's better for Thanksgiving but I do have these 
vintage ghost candles I got years ago to go with my Halloween tree. This lights up. So I will probably update this with a, a black runner at some point. All right, I got a lot accomplished today. Most of the house is decorated for Halloween. Stick around, I'm gonna do a night vision or a night shot of the house tonight after it gets dark. But that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video, so thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.